So an anonymous attendee asks, nutritional causes of low white blood cells and possible solutions. There could be many, but the absolute first thing that I would always think of when I see low white blood cells uh, is copper. I think of copper first. So generally, copper deficiency is at its most sensitive is going to cause neutropenia, which is low neutrophils. But it can cause low white blood cells across the board. I'm not saying there's, there aren't other things, but that's going to be the number one thing that I jump to first when looking for low white blood cells. Solutions, well, I'm not going to assume it's copper. What I'm going to say is, do we have copper here? So the first thing is, is serum copper or serum seroplasmin, which are the two most important markers of copper status, are those included? If not, I'd follow them up. In the meantime, I would say, is this person eating copper-rich foods? So copper-rich foods, the top tier is uh, liver, oysters, shiitake mushrooms, uh, spirulina, and cocoa powder. And then the next tier is basically all other organ meats besides liver, all other mushrooms besides shiitake, all other shellfish besides oysters, and then legumes potatoes, and a couple other things. Um, I do have a, that covers the basics, right? So I'm going to look at that. I'm going to say, are there any top tier foods in this, uh, in this person's diet? Are there a lot of second tier foods in this person's diet? If the answer is no to both those questions, then I'm not going to wait on the serum copper and serum seroplasm. I'm just going to say like, you should try increasing the copper rich foods in your diet to just to start out with, because there's, no harm in modifying the foods you eat to make sure there's some copper rich foods in there. And so you don't really need the testing to do that. But I would definitely get the testing before I would start doing any bigger interventions than that. For example, I'm not going to start that person on copper supplements if I don't have good data backing up copper deficiency.